there are many different types of line. You can tow a line, drop a line, or even walk a line, or an aisle, like I did a couple weeks ago at my wedding. Hi, honey! My name is Sheree Morgan Faulkner, AIFD, and I'm here to talk to you today about line as it is implied through the elements and principles of floral design. Line is the visual movement that takes your eye on a movement journey throughout any floral design composition. There is static line and dynamic line. Static line is very rigid and very unchanging. It's categorized by usual vertical line and horizontal line. I've created that here using the cattails and equisetum. Dynamic line has a lot more movement and energy. It flows, bends, curves, zigzags, lots of different movement and energy with dynamic line. Actual line is line that you can physically see. You can see it present here in the vertical, horizontal, and crescent lines that I've created in this design. Implied line is line that you can't see. You have to see it with your mind's eye. But if you can imagine from point A to point B, there is a line that creates the triangle. Or from point A to point B, there is a line that creates and completes the circle. We use line in our arrangements not only to complete the shape and form of the overall design, but it also, again, directs your eye to places that we want you to see. Right now, I've used the cresseting uh, lines here in the lemon cypress to frame and draw your eye down to the royal sunset lilies, which is our focal point here at the base of our arrangement. We see that at the core of this design, it is actually very circular and spherical. But when we add the dynamic bent lines here of the equisetum, it is intersecting, interacting, and bisecting uh, with each other. It's, it's very interactive, it's more dynamic. It gives you uh, a sheltering look, a caged effect. It feels very protective and also a little mysterious because it makes you wanna kinda peek and see what's inside. Line is seen in every season of every day. Maybe you see it in a romantic cresting wave or a very strong, rigid tower. Today, autumn was in the air and I was inspired by a rising harvest moon over a golden amber pond. Bottom line is, there's lots of different types of lines, so what kind of line inspires you? Have a good one.